All right, everyone. So I am going to make myself a shrimp tacos, and it's going to be very pretty much uh, bland because I don't have any slaw for it. And um, most of the time in a fish taco, you have like a slaw or a, um, some kind of spread you put on it. But I didn't think about this until after I was home, so I didn't buy any like slaw for it. So what I have is I've peeled off the the tail um, shells. So there's no shelling on it. They're already cooked, so they just need to be warmed. We've got some seasoned salt, onion, uh, onion powder, pepper, um, butter, of course. And I got these limes, so I'm just gonna squeeze some lime juice on them. And this is actually I'm gonna put it on the grill as a foil pack. I was gonna just grill them directly on like a pan or something, but I decided to go foil pack so I also got some avocados which I'm going to make a guacamole and I may just spread the guacamole over the tortilla and then put the uh, shrimp there and then I got some cut up tomato I got some cheese don't know if I'll use cheese um, but sometime in a future video I do want to do an actual catch and cook like fish tacos <laughs> um sometime that catching cook is going to come up uh so all right that's ready the steak doesn't look too bad <laughs> um i'm gonna go get the grill warmed up so we can get going on this all right everyone so here are my shrimp tacos pretty simple i just took whatever shrimp i had left in the freezer got some rice and beans uh tomato slices of avocado and a little bit of cheese so that's my shrimp tacos Hey everyone, so now I have a grocery haul for you. Uh, it's a little bit of a stock up haul. Um, I just um, am missing some stuff in the house, so I like to have a little bit of stock up. I haven't replaced anything in a while. So let me go over those items with you. All right, everyone. So um, first thing before I even go into any of this stuff, a couple items I don't have here in the house. They're out in the garage is I did fill up two five gallon water jugs. So that gave us 10 more gallons of water. And then also in the chest freezer, I put in a box of waffles that I picked up today and two Swanson Hungry Man TV dinners. So those aren't pictured here, but they are something I picked up today. All right, uh, picked up a coffee, McCafe breakfast blend for Glenn. He is uh, that was perfect timing because he was out of coffee. <laughs> and then I picked up some cream cheese. I don't have anything in mind to make with this, but I don't have any at all. And I always like to have certain things for like desserts and stuff like cream cheese, whipped topping. Um, I just like to make sure I have that stuff in the house. So I picked up two or total of four uh, blocks of it, but they're two packs. So I picked up two two packs. So a total of four uh, boxes of cream cheese. And then over here, I got a container of sour cream, two containers of eight ounce uh, whipped topping. And again, I'm not out of this stuff, but I'm running low. And if I all of a sudden want to make a dessert with, with that, then I want to know it's here. So I <laughs> uh, did get some grape jelly. And what I got that for is this is the time of the year that the Oreos uh, make their start their migration back to South America. Um, so I just wanted to throw some grape jelly out there. I haven't re gotten in. I haven't gotten any Oreos all summer long since spring. But now that their migration is starting, they tend to stop in those places they did in spring and take some uh, jelly, I guess you can say, for the road. Um, so yeah, I thought I'd put some new jelly out, and I want to make some more hummingbird nectar, um, because I did see a hummingbird the other day in our feeder, and with us camping in the next uh, how many times, I'm probably not going to be able to see any more hummingbirds, even if they come to our yard. But I want to make sure I put some fresh nectar out for them. Um, canned foods. This is where I was kind of running a little low. Uh, I got three cans of mixed vegetables 
and I know for sure I used two of them in the last couple months when I made the chicken with ramen noodle uh, dinner and I never replaced them so I replaced two and got one more so these were uh, 58 cents at our Walmart and these are 15 ounce cans so got three of those mixed vegetables and then I got six of the whole kernel corn I am really low on corn so I just wanted to and that's the one I use the most is corn that's probably the most used veg, canned vegetable in the house so I picked up six of those and those were 50 cents a can so those are kitchen items um, I'm gonna bring up more items and those are more like household items so let me switch this over all right so these are well some of them are kitchen items but okay most of them are kitchen items um so i wanted to uh, get another one of these refill containers of the equate uh hand soap we are not low on the other one i got um i don't know how long ago i got that but we still have plenty left but i wanted to make sure we had another one um, just to make sure we're a little well stocked on that this is 50 fluid ounces, and this is uh, citrus. They didn't have the clear one there, so I did want to pick something up. And I got some food for our rugrats, so I stocked up a little bit on that. And then these are quart size freezer bags, and I'll be using some of those when I shred up some of that chicken I'm cooking right now. And you can see I got it in the slow cooker. And then, and I don't normally buy some of this right now, like foam cups, foam bowls, plastic utensils. I don't normally pick that stuff up on a regular basis. Um, but we do have a couple camping trips coming up and we are trying to eliminate the process of having to wash dishes. So <laughs> um, I did get a, let me grab it real quick. I did get a 150 uh, plate pack of styrofoam plates. So that's what one thing uh, Glenn and I discussed last time is, okay, we got it down where we have the freezer bags uh, that we can just boil to warm. Now we just need the paper plates so we don't have to wash the dishes either. So, so yeah. Um, but otherwise, if it weren't for the camping trips, I would not be buying any of the foam uh, plates and bowls and cups and plastic utensils um, so that's just like a once a year thing I'll do and got some uh, foil this is just 25 square uh, feet just a small one to keep in the trailer for when we're camping so I don't have to take the one from the kitchen um, I think I went over utensils yeah so that is everything I believe yeah all right so that is my Walmart uh, stock up haul so with that i'm going to end the video here so i hope you enjoyed the video thank you so much for taking time out of your day to watch it i appreciate all the support and other than that remember to live life be good to yourself and be good to others until next time